Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video, one problem I have completed on traveling salesman problem. Now in this video, second problem I am going to continue. I told you that the procedure of solving a TSP problem is very much similar to AP problem, assignment problem. Only one extra step, uh, step we have to go for this traveling salesman problem. A traveling salesman problem is that problem where a salesman will start from a particular city and visit each other city only once and then come back to the home city. So what is the path? What is the sequence he has to follow in order to visit all other cities so that the total distance traveled should be minimum or total cost should be minimum or total time should be minimum. That is the nature of the problem. But first of all, we have to begin with the same procedure what we have done in the assignment problem. Row subtraction, column subtraction, drawing minimum number of lines to cover up all the zeros, then making the assignment up to here. The procedure is same for AP and TSP. Now, before starting the second problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Now, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain. A salesman has to visit five cities A, B, C, D and E. He wished to start from a particular city, visit each city only once and then return to the starting city. The cost of traveling from the city to another city is given below. Determine the least cost route. So from city A, B, C, D, E to city A, B, C, D, E. So here A to A is given as zero. We put it at dash because there is no cost involved from A to A city, B to B city, C to C, D to D and E to E. So we'll put a dash. In all those cells. Now, first step, row subtraction. Row subtraction means subtracting the minimum element in each row from the corresponding element of that row. That is the point. Now, first A row. A row minimum is 12, 15, 17, 11. So, first row you can find 11 is minimum. So, subtract 11. 12 minus 11 is 1. Then 15 minus 11 is 4. Then 17 minus 11 is 6. 11 minus 11 is 0. First row completed. Second row minimum 16, 13, 18, 12. So 12 is minimum. So 16 minus 12 is 4. Then 13 minus 12 is 1. Then 18 minus 12 is 6. 12 minus 12 is 0. Third row, 18, 17, 0, 14, 17. So minimum is 14. 18 minus 14 is 4. Then 17 minus 14 is 3. Then 14 minus 14, 0. 17 minus 14 is 3. Right? Next, fourth row, minimum 21, 14, 18, 0, 16. So minimum is 14. So 21 minus 14 is 7. Then uh, 14 minus 14, 0. Then 18 minus 14, 4. Then 16 minus 14, 2. Last row 11, 13, 12, 18. So 11 is minimum. So 11 minus 11, 0. 13 minus 11, 2, 12 minus 11, 1, and 18 minus 11, 7. That's all. The so first step we have completed row subtraction. Second step, column subtraction and drawing minimum number of lines, horizontal and vertical, so as to cover up all the zeros. So first row, first row minimum is 0. So if you subtract 0, you will get the same figure. First of all, I'll put it dash for A, B, C, D, E. First column 0. So four, same values we'll get. 4, 4, 7, 0. Second column minimum is again 0. 
so same values so 1 dash 3 0 2 third column minimum is 1 subtract 1 so 4 minus 1 is 3 1 minus 1 is 0 dash then 4 minus 1 is 3 1 minus 1 is 0 fourth column minimum is 6 so 6 minus 6 0 6 minus 6 0 then 0 uh, actually 0 is minimum minimum is 0 so same values will get 6 6 0 dash 7 last column minimum is 0 so same values will get 0 0 3 2 that's all so now minimum number of lines so as to cover up all the zeros now see carefully in column 1 0 1 0 2 zeros 1 0 2 0 so maximum two zeros we can cover up in a single vertical line horizontal line 1 0 2 zeros 1 0 1 0 2 zeros so maximum two zeros we can cover up in a single line right so how to cover up these two zeros can be covered up in a vertical line like this right these two zeros also we can cover up in this what horizontal line two two zeros we have cancelled now three zeros are located at three different places we can cover up these zeros either horizontally or vertically by a single line two zeros cannot be covered up in a single line because these are located at different places so either horizontal or vertical any way you can draw so i am drawing this is horizontal this is vertical and this is horizontal any way you can draw it is not compulsory that whatever i have followed horizontal you can draw even vertical also you draw the same so how many lines one two three four five number of lines are five and the order of the matrix is also five so we reached the solution of ap assignment to problem solution we got it now optimum assignments are as follows for giving the assignments take the same elements from the previous table so 4470 4470 second 1302 1302 third 3030 30 and 30 fourth column 6607 6607 Last column 0, 0, 3, 2. 0, 0, 3, 2. That's all. Same values I have taken. Now assignment. See any row in which only one zero is there, assign that to zero. In the first row, we have a single zero. So I'm assigning this zero and canceling the other zeros in that column and row. Any other row having a single zero? Yes, B row we have a single zero. So B row I have assigned this zero, cancel the other zeros in that column and row. Any other row having a single zero? Yes, C we have a single zero, C zero. Cancel the other zeros in that column and row. Now D is having only one zero, assign this zero, cancel the other zeros in that column and row. Lastly, E, only one zero is left, assign this zero, cancel the other zeros. So you can see here, all the zeros are either assigned or it is cancelled, right? Now we got the solution. A to E, so here A to E, B to C, B to C, C to D, C to D, then D to B, D to B, E to A, E to A. So this is the assignment, but here traveling salesman will start from A to B, A to uh, A to E. So from A to E means from E has to start. So A to E, from E to A. That means from A to E he is going and from E to A he is coming back. That means one loop is formed without visiting B, C, D. From A city, he went to E city. From E city, he came back to A city. One group. He has not visited B city. So from B to C, then C to D, then D to B. Another group. From A to A, from B to B. That means in this solution, we got two groups. But in TSP problem, only one loop should be there. 
if he start from a he should uh, come back after visiting all cities then only he should come back to a he should not come back in between but here we got in between first from a he went to e e to a that means without without visiting b c d then another loop b to c c to d d to b two groups this is not the solution this is not the solution of tsp <coughs> since two groups are formed it is not a solution of tsp now what is the next step here it is very very important this is the only difference between ap and tsp if the problem is ap our problem is finished here itself it is tsp actually we have given the assignments to zeros but we are not getting the solution now we'll bring the next non minimum non zero element minimum non zero element the minimum non zero element is 1 so we will make assignment even to 1 also apart from zeros we give the assignment to 1 also to get to the solution of tsp one loop should be formed so here the minimum non zero element is 1 so we bring one also into our solution that means we assign even one also the assignment will be as follows now first we uh, copy down the elements of the matrix here 4470 4470 then 1302 1302 3030 3030 Fourth column 6607. 6607. Last column 0032. 0032. Uh, 3, 2. That's all. We have copied. Now we'll start giving assignment to zeros as well as 1. So first column 1 is there. So we give the assignment to 1 and cancel the other zeros and 1 in the column column and row in that row another zero is there cancel in the column another zero is there cancel right now secondly now we select the zeros first we prefer zero if we can't give the assignment to zero we can give the assignment to one also minimum non-zero element so here one zero is there in this column so we assign this zero right so other zeros in that column in that row will get cancelled any other row having a single zero no we have two zeros in b and two zeros in e so we give arbitrarily we give the assignment of this zero to c then this will get cancelled and this also will get cancelled lastly one zero is left in e so we give the assignment to e here zero no other zero in that column and row but we, we have not given any assignment to D. Every row we have the assignment A, B, C, E. But we don't have the assignment in D. But it is not a solution. Every row must have one assignment. Now what are the elements here? 7, 3, dash, 2. See here. The minimum non-zero element is 1. But apart from that, the next minimum non-zero element is 2. So even we can give the assignment to 2 also. If we can't give the assignment to 0 and 1, we can give the assignment to 2. So I am giving the assignment to 2 here. Right? Now what are the assignments? A to B. See here. A to B. Then B to C. B to C. C to D. C to D. D to E. D to E. Then E to A e to a the complete loop is formed carefully you see the traveling salesman have started from a city he went to b from b he went to c from c he went to d from d he went to e from e he went back he come back to a so there is a complete loop from a to a from a he has visited b c d e and after visiting e he came back to A. So it is an optimum solution of PSP. We got the solution. The optimum assignment and its minimum total cost is as follows. Now you go to the original problem and take the values. A to B. A to B value is 12. 
then b to c b to c value is 13 then c to d c to d value is 14 then d to e d to e value is 16 then e to a e to a value is 11 that's all. these are the elements we got now simply we have to find the total 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 16 plus 11 it comes to 66 the total cost minimum cost is 66 that's all this is the end of the problem on tsp so so far two problems i have explained each and every point in detail so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel among your groups among your friends so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge Apart from this, I have uploaded so many subjects, videos for BCom, BBA, MBA, MCom, CA, CMA and professional courses for everyone who want to gain the knowledge, who want to get the complete command on the subject. Visit my, the playlist of my channel, select the subject, select the videos, watch it and enhance your knowledge. Get more confidence on the subject and be successful in your life. So inshallah, we will start the next problem in the next video.